Hi, I'm Kevin Castaneda, and this is Cup's Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. And today we're going to be talking about Apple stock and why I personally think it's going to hit around $200 or more by the end of this year. So let's get straight into it. But first, I would really appreciate it if you go down below and smash that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you do want to watch more content like this in the future, because I think you'll very much enjoy it. Now, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so to start off, Apple is almost at about 150. It's sitting around that 147, 148 level right now, and it's kind of bouncing around. But I think that a 150 will be will come very soon, and I think 200 is inevitable essentially because I think that what we will see with Apple is that I think we're gonna be like I think Apple stock is gonna sit around the 150 range, and maybe if it takes a dip, it's a great opportunity for a lot of people to load up because I feel like Apple's been taking for granted for a while because Apple's kind of just been pounding up and down from that one like 118 all the way to one like 35, then it would drop, and then it just keep doing that over and over again. So some it was a tradable stock, however, it wasn't very enthusiastic and there wasn't a lot behind it. But recently, there's been a lot of momentum behind it. There's been a lot of press. It's been very kind of m momentum driven. It's been moving a lot. It's been moving like at least one to two percent a day excuse me, and consistently been moving one to 2% a day, which has kept investors in and kept more people buying in as these weeks, as these like past few weeks have been going by. Now, today, we have more news. We have news that Apple may potentially be ramping their production 20 of iPhones 20%, which is ridiculous. That would be from 75 million iPhones to 90 million iPhones, which is insane. That's something that I don't think any of us saw it, like expected or thought about, which means they're on their way to 100 million iPhones, which is a lot, like a lot of iPhones. And I think this is big. This is very important news, not only for Apple, but for a lot of companies as well. Because as we all know, at companies like Apple and big tech companies or something like Amazon, Google, Facebook, all of them, all these, um, all these stocks, all these big tech companies have had huge, amazing earnings. And that's great for us as investors. But the new thing is, are they going to be able to beat these comps? Are they going to be, because Wall Street looks at comps and whether you like or hate Wall Street or hedge funds or any of them, they all look at comps and they look at, okay, how did this company do and how do we project that we'll do? So, with that, we as as retail investors need to be like, okay, we know we we know that Wall Street's gonna look at these comps. So are we looking at these comps and what do we think about them? And if the company itself says that they're gonna ramp their production of their iPhones and they're gonna ramp production for certain things and they're gonna keep putting out more and more product and all of these stuff, that's very nice for us to see. And it's actually a huge thing for us to see that I don't think a lot of people are paying attention to. Because one thing that we really need to keep in mind is that if production is ramping, then we need to look at the whole market and say, okay, if Apple is one of the biggest tech companies and they're ramping production, that might indicate the fact that, okay, maybe comps aren't going to be that bad. Maybe we're actually going to see positive comps. Maybe we're not going to see slowing growth. Maybe we're going to continue to grow even more. And it's going to be this huge ballistic growth that no one was expecting and it just comes out of nowhere. And then we just like, no one knows what to do. And then the stock ends up like flying up really, really fast because no one anticipated this growth that it's going to have. Now, this is actually very viable now that we have this news from Apple, which I've already put up the article. I already threw it up earlier, but I'll definitely leave a link to the article down below as well if you do want to read it yourself. But seeing all these things and all this good news coming about Apple and seeing it finally start to move is very, very good for us to see. And it gives us a lot of hopium for the future and hopium for other big tech companies. And it kind of is a nice indicator for us about other earnings and about how we may be able to look forward to the future because we were thinking about it negatively like oh they're not going to be able to beat their comps but what if they do beat their comps what if they grow even more than we expected as opposed to staying stagnant or even declining a little bit in year over year growth which is incredible that they're going to continue to grow and i think this just kind of restates the thing about apple that we've been all known for years and years that apple is basically like it's it's a company that you can't get away from it's such a sticky like business model where it's like i have an iphone and everyone else has an iphone so you kind of feel incentivized to have it then once you have it you want their other products because they go well with this so why would you buy from another company and it's just it's a very strange business model but it gets you very hooked on and i am completely aware of that and i love apple i got the watch got the airpods got everything apple and i love the company it's a great company and i think that this is 
awesome for us to see and we still know that they're trying to make advances in the ev and in the ev space and that's huge that's huge for them and i'm not entirely sure what they're doing yet and i don't think they're entirely sure what they're doing yet or maybe they are and we just as the public don't know yet but there's a lot going on and i think apple is definitely going to continue to grow don't need to continue to blow our minds and show us incredible numbers that we didn't even assume and so we'll see what happens but i think apple's gonna have a great year this year and we're gonna end around the 200 dollars per share mark so if you did enjoy this video and you did find it useful go ahead and smash the like button down below also go ahead and subscribe if you do want more content like this as i post regularly well i post daily and i post one to five videos per day it honestly kind of varies on how much news there's going on and if there's enough to talk about but go ahead and subscribe also go ahead and get your t free stock down below with public you get up to 50 dollars of stock of your choice just for signing up and pause and then we deposit your first hundred dollars so go ahead and sign up down below and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one this was kip's mindset